The flames erupt at an elementary school and investigators say it started in a nearby homeless encampment. Good afternoon and welcome to the four on this Friday. I'm Carlo Chiquetto and I'm Heather Myers. It happened at Paradise Hills Elementary School about 11 o'clock last night, damaging three classrooms. Today's crew spent the day cleaning up the damage. News 8's Kelly Hassadal is live at the school with what we've learned about that fire today. Kelly. Yeah, Carlo and Heather, workers were out here all day long. If you take a look behind me, you can see uh, they have since boarded up the windows. You can see the charred portion of the building there. Now, as you mentioned, fire investigators believe the cause of the fire was a homeless encampment. And one school official told us this. There's been a gentleman here that's uh, in, been in an encampment here for some time. Uh, he's been given notices to leave. He's been offered many services to help him. Um, it, it just seems as though... Uh, with the cold weather, he returned back here and uh, must have started a fire to keep himself warm. And that is a big concern for both the school officials and for firefighters who say now that the weather has turned colder, this could become something uh, we see happening more often. Now, a neighbor shared video from her surveillance camera uh, where you can see the glow of the fire and embers raining down. She said she was afraid their home would start on fire because she lives right across the street. Another neighbor also shared cell phone pictures. Firefighters told us the flames at one point were about 25 feet high. Now, crews fortunately were able to get here quickly, so the damage was contained to just three classrooms and we're told those classrooms aren't currently being used uh, because there were plans already in place to renovate them even before the fire. So classes went on today as scheduled. Parents tell us they've known for a while about a homeless encampment nearby. Take a listen. Honestly, not surprising because there's always homeless back there. Typically, they don't bother anybody, so it doesn't bother me too much. I thought it was a car alarm and then I saw that it was um, a fire when I opened the door. We live right behind the school. As long as the kids are safe, then that, that's all I care about. <laughs> And that is certainly the good news is that no one was hurt in this fire. Now we did see some uh, what looked like bedding that was uh, charred in the fire laying in the road that possibly came from that homeless encampment. Uh, we're told that the damage to the building is roughly $95,000. Heather and Carlo. Kelly, we're, we're looking at potentially a homeless encampment starting this, but is there anything the school can do to protect itself to prevent this type of fire in the future? Yeah, and district officials are already talking about plans on what they can do. One thing they have talked about is all this shrubbery that you see over here, all this overgrown area. They will be trimming that back and thinning it out uh, because it has just gotten so high and hopefully uh, we'll be able to deter anybody from wanting to sleep in this area. But, I mean, who knows if it's actually going to work. The school official that we spoke to said he's very sympathetic uh, to the issue of homelessness, but issues or concerns over possible fires is certainly uh, a big concern to him. Uh, coming up at five tonight, my colleague Kirsten Holmes uh, takes a closer look at some other schools in this area that are also have overgrown shrubs nearby. So you're going to hear from her coming up new at five. Okay, our Kelly Hesedal reporting live for us, and we'll wait for Kirsten's report at five. Kelly, thanks.